It's like yin and yang. I know, you're so dark. Oh. Still is sexy though. <laughs> Welcome back to Jamie Reviews. I am Jamie St. Michael, and we're here to finish off the series of trail shoe reviews. Now, some of you guys asked me to review an ultra, others requested to bring Cindy back. And well, you got both. Thanks to our friends at Kind Snacks. They provide a number of nutritious snacks using whole grains, natural proteins, and all real ingredients. So check out their site down below or grab a bar or two at your local store. So with all that said, let's take a quick look at one of Ultra's newest update in their Lone Peak series. This is our review on the Ultra Lone Peak 4. So this is my first Lone Peak to have tried. Cindy has run in previous models. And the first thing she noticed was the overall improved fit. And in this shoe, it definitely works. For those with wider feet or just want more space, this trail shoe is a godsend. There were plenty of overlays going across the shoe that gave the shoe a sturdier feel. And the upper didn't have much stretch. But given the footbed is so wide to start off with, made it to where it wasn't a big deal. The upper is pretty basic, mesh with overlays. The tongue stayed flat against her foot and the heel stayed locked in. The only issue we had was while running in wet grass. Our feet were soaked, but we would say the shoe is also fairly breathable. So we would give the upper an A minus B plus overall. The midsole uses Ultra's A bound cushioning with the use of EVA. Every company talks about energy return. And I can't say that it felt any more bouncy feeling than any other basic foam, but it felt good nonetheless. It was more on the plush side of the spectrum, providing noticeably good forefoot cushioning. I was able to try on an old pair of Lone Peaks just to compare it, and it felt to me that the 4.0 feels a bit lower to the ground, which I guess gives the shoe a bit more nimble, agile feel. The overall ride was decent, but I wish they would have included the Ego midsole that the Escalante has. Now the outsole provided decent traction. For how it looks, I was kinda expecting more. It was wet the past few weeks, but as a trail shoe, we weren't that impressed. In dry areas, it held its own. And as far as protection, Ultra Stone Guard did its job. While on rockier areas, we never felt like we weren't getting protection. What we did appreciate was how the shoe was still flexible. Trail shoes can get pretty stiff and sometimes too uncomfortable. And we think the Lone Peak 4.0 fits our preferences better than many other trail shoes. So when looking at the shoe overall, who do we think this shoe is for? Well, for one, if you're one of those runners who prefer lower drop shoes, this shoe will provide the lowest drop on the market, zero. And if you are used to zero drop, this shoe should work pretty well. For those who have a wider foot and can't seem to fit a trail shoe that provides ample space for your foot, then we would say that this shoe should be on your list. And if you're already a fan of the Lone Peak series, it's probably a safe bet that you will enjoy this shoe. For me, this shoe was kind of just decent. I wasn't blown away, but I wouldn't turn anyone away from it either. It's just in that middle. Cindy said that it was good for the purpose of being a zero drop trail shoe. So it kind of is what it is. So if you're not into that kind of thing, there are plenty of other trail options. And if you are, go ahead and cop a pair. Me personally, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just there. Thank you for watching this review, and I know the Lone Peak has a big following, so please comment down below your experiences in the shoe. Cindy and I are only two opinions, and the people need to read yours. Once again, thank you to our sponsor Kind Snacks for holding it down, and I wanted to say a corny line about being kind, but I'll spare you guys this time. Be sure to subscribe, like, dislike, troll, or whatever you kids do nowadays, and as always, stay in school, don't do drugs, and keep it tight.